Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast, and my camera is playing games, man. Always playing games. But yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, hope you guys are well and safe. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed our previous podcasts and enjoying the channel as well. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're following us on social media. We are streaming on all streaming platforms. But G Man, how you been, bro? You all right? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, man. Just uh, like I was telling you before, man, routine and whatnot. Um, yeah, man. Everything's cool. Just uh, Saturday. I want to talk about this actually on the podcast. Mm. So remember last week I spoke about going to training and I got absolutely broken in wrestling class, right? Yeah, yeah. Coach broke me. I was scared. I got nervous. I was panicking. I was running off the mats. I was quitting. I was screaming everything. But last week mm. was just horrible. I was broken. Never ever been broken before. It's okay to lose, but I've never been broken before. Uh, I've lost many times before, but not broken like that mentally. So the whole week, bro, the whole week I was training myself mentally to be like, when Saturday comes again, I'm going to that wrestling class and I'm not going to be broken this time. I'm going to push through. So I've been training the whole week for that, man. So come Saturday, I'm freaking nervous. I mean, I show up. So that's that's the first step. I show up. I'm nervous in class already. And then anyway, we done the MMA class. That was hard. Then we started a wrestling class and I was like, this this is going to be it. I'm, I'm, you know, and I'm, I, I'm constantly talking to myself. During the whole class, I'm kind of like, let's go, G, let's go, G. I'm whispering it to myself, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Anyway, so I started, you know, wrestling, doing the class. The last 20 minutes is when we just free wrestle, right? And that's when it's hard, right? Because mm. it's nonstop wrestling, basically. Uh, you know, get taken down, get back up, taken down, all that stuff. So anyway, I'm wrestling with one of the boys. I'm sparring, sparring, sparring. I'm already out of breath. And then out of nowhere, Eddie comes. Like, just, <laughs> there's no... There's no all right, guys, change partners, grab some water. No, he just comes straight in. And I'm like, all right, Eddie. And I'm talking to him. I start talking to him straight away. I'm like, all right, Eddie, let's go. You're not breaking me today. So we're wrestling. And while we're wrestling, I'm constantly saying, you're not breaking me today. You're not breaking me today. And I'm just, you know, pummeling, getting the double underhooks, trying to get single legs, whatever. He's doing the same to me. He's obviously bigger than me and he's got a lot more technique than me. And he's obviously going easy based on his uh, capacity and whatnot, but he's going hard based on my weight and capacity and skill set and whatnot. So the whole time I'm saying, not today, bro. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not breaking me today. You're not, why are we wrestling? Why are we mm. fucking training, taking down? I'm taking, they say, you're not breaking me today. Let's go, let's go. And my talk to myself started yeah. getting louder and louder and louder to a point where I was screaming, like, let's go, let's go. Like, why are we wrestling? And he got me in a few of the submission holds from last week. And when I say submission hold, it's not like a choke, armbar, none of that sort of stuff, not a yeah. joint manipulation. It was pressure. He basically made, made not just me, he's made people, he makes people tap based on pressure. Yeah. And that's him applying his whole body weight on your chest and then just kind of squeezing you almost like a fucked up bear hug, right? So mm. he's made people tap by that. He made me tap last week and I heard people scream. So he got me in that and I looked at him, I was like, Fuck no, I'm not fucking tapping. And while I was dying, bro, he's crushing my chest. And yeah. I was like, no tap, no tap, I'm not tapping. And yeah. then he get he kind of lets loose a little bit. And I was like, not today, Ed. I'm not tapping to that shit. Fuck that. Let's go. Let's go. He got me in a couple of upper, upper, upper moves, like joint manipulation ones, choke holds, neck cracks, and what. I tap on those. I don't want to break my bones or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, but anything to do with pressure, I was like, nah, man, I'm not tapping. I'm not tapping. Bro, we're sparring for 15 minutes straight. For the whole mm-hmm. 15 minutes, I'm screaming at him, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, uh, and bro, like, every, again, the whole gym was watching. Yes, it's embarrassing me screaming at myself, but you know what? I'll take this embarrassment over what happened last week mm. any day. So last week, I was running. I was quitting. I was scared. This week, I was like, let's go, man. And then after the training was done, I mean, I was exhausted, however, and I'll get to it in a bit, me screaming at him and just getting my mental strength up and pushing through. But I was pushing through the whole 20 minutes of sparring and then we got right to the end. He grabs me and he goes, G, I know you're <laughs> fucking tired, but you walk around here like a fucking champ. Well done. Like he, he just gave me so much stripes for just pushing through the whole time, man. And I just felt 
so good. I was fucked. I lost my voice and everything because I was screaming all the time. But man, listen, bro. Honestly, as, as geeky as this sounds, and only geeks will understand this, I turned into a super saiyan. That's what happened. I turned into a super saiyan. He took me to that next level of, of mental capacity. And not just mental capacity, just my uh, physically as well. David Goggin talks about it all the time. He goes, mm. your body, your mind always wants to quit up, quit at 40% but you still have 60% to go, but your mind wants to quit at 40%, right? I, I'm not saying I got the 100%, but I definitely went past my 40% last week. No doubt about it, bro. I went to another level. Eddie, Eddie smashed it, man. He took me to another level that I thought that I never, I never knew I had, you know? Mm-hmm. And he, with his coaching, with him pushing me, me figuring it out mentally as well, I was able to go past that level, man. And I just overcame that fear of the pressure that he put me through last week. I overcame that. It was such an amazing, amazing feeling that I know that I have that capability. Obviously, I don't, I, I got to bring that out each time, but man, it, 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 was a, it was an amazing feeling, man. And there's something that I learned as well. I mean, look, me talking to myself and screaming to myself actually worked for my mental, right? Mm. I wish I could do it quietly, but I, you know, for me, I have to talk to myself. And there's something about exhaling, right? Uh, Hicks and Gracie was talking about this when he does his jujitsu and whatnot. Yeah. He talks about exhaling when he's when he's training and he's gassing out and whatnot. He talks about exhaling all the oxygen out and then breathing in. That's what gives him good cardio and whatnot. And I, I never really understood that. But when I was screaming, I was obviously exhaling. When I was saying, let's go, let's go. I was ag- aggressively exhaling all my oxygen. Right. Awesome. Uh, but then I was taking oxygen in. But for some something. Like that was giving me energy, was giving me more cardio, giving me more oxygen to my muscles. I was able to go further. I was speaking to Elio about it. She was talking about they have that in yoga where they do excessive exhaling and that kind of mm-hmm. triggers off different chemicals or whatnot. It's because, you know, when you're out of breath, you're like, you're trying to inhale oxygen. That's but right. there's something about exhaling aggressively that worked for me. Right? And I, like I said, I've heard Hicks and Grace talk about it. But me just exhaling all that all oxygen while I'm while I'm dying basically just gave me all extra energy, man. It was such a great feeling. I'm I'm fucked. I haven't trained since Saturday because my chest is hurting, my back is hurting. So I'm taking a couple of days off. I go back Wednesday. But the mental, the mental feeling I've had since then, bro, it's been I've been on another place. I've been over the moon. That's good. Much like, you know, it's it's a life lesson that I'll take away that I'm glad I was able to, you know, you just never know how you can achieve these things unless you're put under adversity. And last week, like I said, I was put under adversity and I failed and I wasn't going to live with that, man. I told myself, you know what, I have to, I have to push through and I have to overcome this, man. And just to, just to overcome it. And maybe he'll put me through it again next week and the week after and I have to keep pushing myself. But right. the fact that I, I showed up, I, I looked at Eddie and I said, we're going today, man. We're fucking going. And I overcame that. Man, I, I feel great, man. I, like I said, it took me to a mental place and a physical place that I've never been in my life, bro. I mean, I've been training forever and I thought I trained hard, but mm. I trained hard physically under my conditions, terms. you know what yeah. I mean? I, my terms, you know what I'm saying? This was the first time I was pushed under someone else's terms and I had to overcome. And bro, like amazing, man. Like I said, I turned Super Saiyan, bro. I turned Super Saiyan. It was, it was mad. It was the best experience and you know something a lesson i'll take away in life uh, we can definitely overcome you just got to find your own way to overcome your mental barriers and for me it was just talking to myself i was coaching myself i was saying let's go g let's go you're not breaking today let's go and i had to say it out loud like the whole class again again everyone was watching everyone was like what the fuck is going on but i don't care i don't care i'll take that embarrassment any day over last week's embarrassment so mm-hmm. That was my weekend, bro. I was pumped. I was good to go uh, and then loved it. And then, uh, yeah, that's it, man. I didn't even sleep Saturday night because I was so full of adrenaline. Oh, um, surprise. Yeah, bro. And then that was it, man. Sat- Sunday, I went to watch Jackass, which was a bit of a stress, re- another bit of a stress reliever finish of the freaking night. Such a funny hell. I-, I was like, let's just go be stupid, man. Let's go watch it. I told the missus, it's a stupid film, but I want to watch it. And if you want to join, that's on you. And yeah. it was so so fucking funny bro and just on the edge of your seat like oh shit what the fuck like everything was just hilarious and them guys just cracked me up man what what a great silly film just to kind of end the weekend with so yeah that was me bro 
That was my weekend, man. Were you, how have you been? How have you been? I know, I know I just went into it or whatnot, but I had to express what I went through over the weekend, man, because it's important. I think Not it's important fine, to me, man. and I think it's important for people to li- who's listening to know that everyone has a different capability and capacity in them. You just got to find your way to push through it and get exactly. through it. And also, you, you need something to challenge you to take you to that next place. So, you know, I try to express that. Uh, no, you been, of course, man? bro. Of course, of course. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's been good, bro. It's been busy. Laura hasn't been too well. I wasn't well as well. Some interesting things happened last week, and I can't discuss or talk about it. Maybe in a couple of weeks. Maybe in a couple yeah. of weeks. But for now, I have to keep strong. But, like, listen, bro, I thought Jackass was brilliant. It was a good laugh. I went and saw the screener for the multimedia release, which was... Was that last week as well, or the week before? I think it was the week before, yeah. The week before, and bro, I, I died, bro. It was so good. I haven't laughed like that in, in years. The one that made me laugh so much, I don't know why it was. You know when the fat guy was sitting on the box and he had to put his balls underneath into the oh, hole? Oh, yeah, I And then died. they had that machine. I'm like, da, 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 they put boxing gloves on. <laughs> the slow motion. And his balls getting punched up, man. <laughs> I was the funniest shit ever. I mean, that one cracked me up. And then the, the, the cup test guy cracked me up when Francis Ngannou punched him in the nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Up. That was brilliant. That was absolutely. Oh brilliant. my god, they killed me, bro. I mean, some of the painful <clears throat> stuff. Some of the stuff is disgusting. Like some of the stuff is disgusting. Also, there was a lot of like dick and balls in this movie, but Ugh. but they they, uh, they yeah, some of it was hilarious, man. Fucking jokes, man. <laughs> <sighs> nuts, absolutely nuts, bro. Uh, Literally, they they smashed it. Uh, I mean, even the opening scene, bro. The party, <laughs> party, party boys will loss. Everyone, oh. it's like, oh <laughs> my god, the, this is buzz, but it's uh, it's entertainment, you know, it works. Some people enjoy it, some people don't. Uh, I had a great laugh with it. Uh, some of it is dangerous, you know, so don't try to shit at home, you'll definitely fuck yourself up. You saw, but, you saw some of the injuries that they got, oh, bro. It's not even that, bro. What about the bollock, the jumpy stick thing on his bollocks? Oh. Like you know, oh. that made me feel like like why would you do that for? It's still making me feel oh. like headed now, bro. I know. Oh, that one, that one was bad. That one was oh that oh. one was bad. So, so some of the there's some of the stuff that makes me gross, like the the pig cum when the my, my guy drank the, the like, pig cum. Ooh, ooh. That bro, that was buzz. Um but there's the um the, and all the dick stuff is kind of like like it hurts, like it hurts me sort of thing. But it was hilarious, man. It, it was funny. I mean, when the fat guy shit his pants, like, oh, I'm a 51-year-old man. I shit my pants. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, bro. You guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Them dudes, bro. Next level shit, bro. No, it's um, funny. Absolutely funny. Yeah. Hilarious. hilarious. So, yeah, that was, bro. Yeah, good movie, man. Good movie. I've been watching. What else did I watch? I watched. Um, what else did we watch? Um, I watched um, Kingsman. I watched yeah. Kingsman, the new Kingsman. It was okay. I mean, to be honest with you, bro, I couldn't get into it, into it. So it's kind of on the background. Yeah. Um, I started watching, I finished off Sinners. Uh, what else did I finish off? I started finishing off, I started watching uh, Pam and Tommy, you know, Tommy yeah. Lee and Pamela Anderson on, on Disney, or not, well, not Disney, like Hulu, uh, with Seth Rogen and um, my guy. Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan, yeah. Bro, it's actually really good. Kevin Smith was talking about it last week, so I was like, let me watch it. So the first episode's really good, man. And yeah. uh, Seth Rogen's a good actor, man. He's a, he's, he's a good actor, man. He plays a different kind of part in this. I mean, he's still Seth Rogen, but just different. So I started watching that. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to watch. What else? Yeah, next week, and Uncharted's coming out, so we've got cinema for that. Mm. Looking forward to that. I think it's out uh, in the UK already, so I'm going to probably try and catch that. This uh, week or so. on the weekend. Okay, nice, nice. And then, look, man, I know this, we're going to go in some good shit that came out later, especially those Super Bowl trailers, but should we just quickly go through the list and then get to those Super Bowl trailers? Yes, and let's do it, with bro. Some, let's with do some it. Boba. Uh, all right, cool. So on my list, I had, uh, first one was a rumor, I think. There's keep, someone, they keep saying, confirmed that Tobey Maguire is showing up in Morbius. Now, they, they, but because of the success of Spider Man, they pushed that movie forward not just a couple or back, so not just like a month or a couple of weeks, it was months, mm. right? Which emphasizes that yes, you're trying to capitalize on Spider Man's success, 
But you do, if you're going to do it by a couple of months, four months, then I feel like you're trying to, you're doing something different, which we all are assuming there's going to be uh, retakes and reshoots and whatnot. The rumors I'm hearing that are confirmed is Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. Now, I okay. think it should be Andrew Garfield just because Maguire is old school and whatnot. But, yeah, yeah. you know, you never know. I mean, there's definitely, I feel like for now, 100%, there's a cameo from one of the Spider Man, no doubt about it. So, um, there's that's, that's Without the a doubt, thing. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next thing. X Men 97, the cartoon, man. So apparently it's going to be 10 episodes and it's going to come out mid 2023. All the actors are coming back, as we already discussed. Bro, well, that should be good. I'm sure with the new, I'm sure it'll be this, this newer sort of animation. And, but as long as they keep the same vibe, man, I think that cartoon is going to be sick. So that's going to be awesome. Um, Russell Crowe has been casted in Craven the Hunter. So. Some mm-hmm. big actor right there. That's a, that's a kind of a big actor. That's um, right. But I think Sony's going full force with their uh, Spideyverse universe that they're creating or their Spidey villain verse or whatever. Um, you know, I think with the success of Spider-Man and them having that deal with Marvel and being able to kind of intertwine shit if they want, it, you know, they're going to see success. Spider-Man was their most successful movie of all time. That's Sony, right. right. So that's right. They're gonna, I think they're gonna capitalize off anything that's related to Spider Man. So, what's the quote? Big, big, big actor. Uh, that should be an interesting movie. Peacemaker, bro. I finished off episode seven, I think. I yeah, need to I got catch one up. more So good. So, so, yeah, so, so, so. I need so. to catch up. I'm, I'm falling, I've fallen behind on that one. Uh, All right. Well, that's really good. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, as, as you said uh, before, just a great show. Yeah. My guy, James Gunn, smashes it. And I'm loving the character now. I'm a fan of Peacemaker. That's how good the show is. Like DC has finally done something that Marvel has been doing for ages. And it might finally made me care about a character and finally made me want to see more of a character. And that's Peacemaker. Some random dude I've never heard of in my life. Yeah. Um, so honestly, smashed it. And that comes down to a, a good direction, good story, good character, everything. You know what I mean? Like making the character relatable, uh, making it enjoyable. So... There's a formula right there. Use it for everyone else, please, DC, and let's get going. Um, all right, what else? Blade Runner 2099, Ridley Scott coming out on Amazon. Um, you've heard about that one, right? Yeah. I wasn't really a, the biggest fan of the last movie that came out. I found it a bit boring, but that's just my opinion. Um, I think the original was was better, but Same you know, just my opinion. That's my opinion as well. I'm going to play out there, but it's my opinion. I thought it was boring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ryan Gosling suited the part because he's good at those roles where he just doesn't say much. Um, like, Drive started it off, and then there was the one after that, the one in Thailand, which kind of pushed it a bit too far because Drive was just perfect. And then the next movie pushed it too far. I'm like, all right, guys, you, you, you're you going too far with the boring. That's right. <laughs> Drive was perfect. Keep to that, keep to that, keep, keep to that pace. Um, all right, I know I'm watching through this because I want to get to the fun part. I mean, it's I know, all I fun, but I want to get to the fun part. Marvel Netflix shows are looking to be coming off Netflix at the end of this month or in March. And I'm assuming they're going to be moving over to Hulu. Um, so that makes sense, I guess. Give me the, right? Hulu's, uh, the Hulu's part is... Yeah, man. I mean, it makes sense. And also, I'm seeing all these things from uh, Kevin Feige saying that Moonlight is going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be violent. It's going to yeah, be brutal. It's going to be violent, the, yeah. I thought, I, I, the way in they gave it was... Shit, I saw something, man. 15A or some shit like You know, I don't know uh, what these ratings... I can't remember what it was. But anyway, apparently it's going to be brutal. So let's see what, 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 what they mean by brutal. Because those mm. Netflix shows were brutal. I mean, especially the, um, the Daredevil ones, right? That's right. And the Punisher. So let's see in regards to how brutal are we talking about. Because it's still Disney Plus and mm-hmm. under the Marvel channel. It's not under Hulu, right? So this is going to be interesting. But if it is brutal... Man, you can just imagine what they're looking to tie in with, uh, with Moonlight. Exactly, exactly. Um, but talking about Moonlight, the fucking let's get on to the fun stuff. Bro. Super Bowl happened yesterday. Some amazing trailers came out. Let's start off with the Moonlight trailer, the little, the little Super, Bowl, Super Bowl spot. Bro, first of all, the costume accuracy is killing me, bro. Mm-hmm. Not just the normal Moonlight one, but the one when he's got the suit on as well. Oh, my God, bro. So good. This uh, whoever so good. does the costume design is amazing, and that trailer, bro. I mean, just just everything is so good, bro. I mean, they always keep ending it with him jumping over the the 
the two buildings mm. with the moon in the back. But that's just a perfect scene, and they do it so well. Bro, yeah. oh my god, we gotta wait how many weeks? March what? When is end of March? Weeks, I think. Oh god, man, I need something. Boba just finished. We'll get to that in a bit, oh, but no, no. I need something. But hopefully, Moonlight keeps us going uh, until Strange, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But what did you think about that Moonlight trailer, man? Listen, bro. Um, you know, everybody has mixed feelings about uh this movie this character listen he's not big character in the marvel you know comic books and the rest of it let's be real uh you ever heard of moonlight bro i only um i haven't read any of his individual stuff i've heard of him in the sense when i was reading infinity wars he like i said he tried to uh capture thanos in his cape and mm-hmm. i can't remember what he was supposed to do with it and thanos fucked him up inside the cape so he lose but so i've known him for those but i haven't read any individual ones I don't know the past and I know he's got all the, the Egyptian history and whatnot and the Egyptian gods, all that stuff related. But no, I know obviously him being like a multi-character type of dude. Um, so I don't know that. So to, to be honest with you, this will be my introduction to Moonlight from mm. a movie perspective. And maybe I'll love it so much I'll start going buying his comics, man, because, you know, I am going to pop to the comic book shop at the beginning of April because those new Punisher ones are coming out. And I want to give it a chance, even though they changed the logo and, I'm upset by it, but I just want to give that a chance. And you know what? So I'm going off topic. Those Punisher ones, that could be just a series. That could just be one series of comics where they've changed his logo. And then they'll probably bring back another series where he's back to I'm, I'm sure they will, bro. I'm sure yeah, they will. Yeah, so anyway, <clears throat> but I, if I go to the comic book shop and buy them, if I'm a fan of, of, of Moonlight, I might end up picking up some of his comics. But uh, yeah, no, bro, the show's going to be awesome, man. And it's going to tie into the MCU. So why not just enjoy it? Oh, exactly, bro. Uh, I look. I, I've read some of the comics. I've uh, Sasa introduced me to the character. Uh, I know that there's. I've got some odd issues in my collection as well. Uh, but we're dealing with a character who suffers mental health, split personality disorder. Uh, you know, violent behavior. Uh, you know, not understanding what character he's going to be and what he's going to wake up as. It's nuts, bro. So can you imagine that? And they're introducing this as a Marvel TV series. It's, it's it's interesting what they're doing, bro, because they're test now with this Disney Plus show. They're testing, they're testing what they're gonna do in season, like sorry, phase, phase five and phase six. Yeah, you're gonna introduce Blade, Dark Knight, all these characters that are, you know, really dark background, really really violent background comic books as well. Uh, and then you know the Doctor Strange, like oh, there's so much going on, bro. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So good three weeks okay. wait, and and we're back in it. Oh wow. Well, bro, can we can we talk about Doctor Strange, please? Because um, my God, we can wait. Was, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting go for? Well, what's on this, bro? Is that how quick it went, bro? I, I, bro? I know I went through it quick. I mean, those are just <laughs> quick ones. But then you know, the last two I got Strange and Boba Fett. Okay, so. you know what? Let's do let's do Strange. Let's talk about Strange. Oh. Uh, nuts, bro. Absolutely nuts. What a way to wake up, bro. When you said that YouTube clip, I was like, ah, oh, you because normally on WhatsApp you see the video, like you see the thumbnail. You just said YouTube and you were like, oh my God, this is sick. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It's so early in the morning. I just woke up. And then, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. You thought, hold on a second. You thought what they gave us in Spider-Man. No way. You thought end games, you can't top that. And then you thought what they gave us in Spider-Man, No Way Home, you can't top that. Fuck you. That's what Marvel said. Fuck you. Check this out. Oh my god, that's just a trailer. That's just a trailer. Fuck you, man. Let's start off with Professor X. Fuck Bo. They you thought you can't get more than what they gave you in Spider-Man. Here's Professor X. Oh my god, Patrick Stewart coming back as Professor X. That was him. That was the Bo. From the whole take from the whole trailer, when you just hear his voice, you're like, oh my god. That's what Marvel's saying to you, bro. You, you this movie, bro. With all the rumors and all the shit that's going on in the trailer, they were just like, "Here's a glimpse, man. Take Professor X." <laughs> bro, it's the first time. Bro, it's the first time I'm so excited to see Professor Boldheaded X, bro. Because oh my god, what they're gonna do in this movie is gonna be ridiculous, man. Oh, it's bro, gonna be nuts. To get... It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. It's like, uh... <sighs> fuck it. You again? It opens up the multiverse completely. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I've been up since early <laughs> and I watched the trailer and reacted and only got five views. That's nuts, man. Come on, brothers. Hook a brother up, man. We've got almost 100 subscribers. 
tell me, man. Tell me what's going on here, man. The algorithm is like not this... pushing our shit, bro. I think that's one thing is the algorithm, and two, I think everyone reacts to these Marvel trailers, so it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's but like one, like, one in a million. It's weird yeah, because someone... the DC ones do really good. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and also when we do movie reactions to trailers that are not Marvel, like just some random movie or not comic book movie, we yeah. get decent views. But when it comes to Marvel, everyone's doing a review anyway. That's but true. Anyway, that's true. But, anyway but listen, man, I thank you a lot. Anyway, listen. Bro, we are going to be introduced to something really good. It looks really colourful. Uh, you know, we've got Defender Strange, we've got Zombie Strange, we've got Scarlet Witch. Uh, They're giving you know. us Marvel zombies. They're giving you Marvel fucking zombies. They're giving you the Illumina motherfucking Nati, bro. The Illuminati. Oh, my God. Oh. Then you've got Captain Carter, like the poster. Have you broken down the poster? Yet? The poster, you've yes. Got Captain yes. Carter's shield. You've got uh, the Eye of... Illuminati. Illumin- Illuminatis. Like... Yeah. Nuts, bros. The age of ultra, the Ultron robots, which which possibly could even be Ultron. It could be this freaking super Tony, super Tony Stark, with what everyone's talking about, which is Mr. Tom Cruise and shit. I mean, so what they say, bro? That's going to be nuts if they do that. That's going to be nuts. Bro, I mean, I know we need to break this trailer down, but there's so much to it. But that Illuminati, I mean, Illuminati. What Professor X? You got Tony Stark. You got Doctor Strange. You got Black Bolt. It should be Namor, Black Panther, right? Neymar and Black Panther. Neymar Black Panther, right? But no, yeah. but and Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic I, I, I'm pretty, as well. I'm pretty sure Neymar wasn't there before, but he's new. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, I'm pretty sure it was Black Panther or whatnot. But anyway, um, oh, bro, that's sick. The mutants, they just gave us Professor X. Could you imagine how many of the other Fox mutants are going to show up? Because listen, man, they bought Fox for $70 billion or whatnot, and they just utilized one aspect of him in Wonder, Wonder Vision. Bro, they, I think they're going to bring in as much characters. Remember, the rumours are this is going to have the most Marvel characters in one movie more than Endgame, right? So I can imagine all the X-Men showing up, as many as possible. You're talking about possible, I don't know, man, whoever they show up, man. Hopefully, like, the Blades, the Wesley Snipe Blades, the Punishers, the whatever, man. Like, everyone just shows the fuck up. I mean, oh, my God, man. Defender Strange, like, Bro, That's zombie right. strain, zombie scarlet. Oh, God. God, what are they doing, man? They're like, yeah. Marvel's like, you don't think we could do more? Here, here you go. Here you go. Bro. Ah, oh, man. That's going to be a crazy movie, bro. Crazy. Uh-huh. I've watched it so many times. I've watched the trailer so many I can't get over what they're doing. Like, what, what they're giving us, man. I can't get over it. It's going to be so sick. So there's another image saying there's Deadpool in there as well. Bro. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised it. because also I saw another image, another thing. Maybe someone made it up for saying that Ryan Reynolds posted a picture of him in the Deadpool costume, uh, but then he deleted it. But apparently the lady behind or someone behind was the costume designer of Doctor Strange. Um, and I was like, whatever, man. I think every, I think everyone's going to be in it, bro. Honestly, I think I, 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 I'm keeping my optimism open that everyone is going to be in this fucking movie. Anyone and everyone that we want. And, you know, it seems like, look, Wonder, Wonder Vision, uh, Wonder's going to be, uh, there's going to be an evil Wonder, right? Uh, evil, evil Scarlet Witch, as you can see in that. And she talks about him, if he breaks the rules, it's all good. And if she does it, it's, it's not fair. Uh, I feel like she's going to, she's going to bring in the mutants, right? They're going to, I think they're going to do this house. Variant. So there's multiple rumors. Sorry, another video has popped up. Okay, okay. I am yeah. a variant mother. I think I think we they're gonna do some kind of house of M. Everyone, everyone keeps talking about this, but they're gonna do some kind of house of M wonder, uh, Scarlet Witch story where she's gonna bring in the mutants, like you know what I mean, do the opposite of what she's done in the comics. But um, yeah, a, a bro coming, man. What, what else, man? What else you got? What else you see? Uh or what else your thoughts, man? I mean, bro, what there's, there's so much to it, bro. You know, you, you're bringing in the elements of what if as well and the dark, it, dark strange and like, you just know. Just like New, the way New York City was melting away and, and into the darkness from the what if comic. They gave us that exact scene, man, a fucking live screen. Oh. It's nuts, bro. Absolutely nuts. They've, they've really, they've, I just can't wait for May, bro. Like, I feel like I want to just jump to that moment and forget about all the madness I have to go through to get to there. It's like uh, having that remote control from Click. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But 
Yeah, but then it will just forward you, it will keep forwarding you to the next Marvel movie, which actually might not be that too bad because it's every month, possibly every week. No, there's possibly one every show every week. Um, and then the longest break we have is about like a month or two. So that's not too bad, you know, if we had a click remote control that just took you to the next phase. Yeah, that's, uh, that's and in a bit between, deep though. And they're running on know, autopilots. Could you imagine that? Remember he missed his family and then when you miss a lava growing up because you're just skipping through to the next Marvel movie. Uh, nah, let's skip that. Uh, just absolutely nuts, bro. I'm, 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 so, I'm so happy, so excited. I mean, there's so much going on. I mean, I couldn't be more than happy, you know what I mean? But I do have to do a shameless plug, bro. Guys, we're going to start putting affiliate links to the Logitech kit that we use on the podcast. Gilman uses a Logitech mic. I use a Logitech mic. I use, we both use Logitech cameras. So shout out to Logitech. They sent us some kit. We're going to start using that from now on. But if you want to know what kit we use when we do our podcast, the links are in the description box, guys. It, it helps out massively. Uh, and, you know, this is a free platform. We, we just share our thoughts on it. We don't get paid for none of this stuff. We just love it. But uh, if you're interested in doing whatever you're doing and we can help inspire that, then click on the descriptions below. The camera and the microphone will be there. That's what we use. And, and we use Zoom, which is a free platform. But you could use other platforms, whichever one you can. It's up to you, whichever one you find easy. But that's the same, shameless, shameless plug. Make sure you're following us on social media as well. We've got to remind you guys. And subscribe to the channel, guys. We get our own URL. We need six more subscribers and you guys will have daily dosage of content on there as well. We just don't do geeky, like I know we do the comic book stuff, but we do UFC, we do trailer reactions and product reviews. Loads more come into the channel as well, guys. Uh, but for now, yes, man, let's talk Dad, about Bubba. You've, up, you, you've already uploaded the, uh, the UFC reaction to the app. You just done that. Like, how do you do that while we were talking, bro? Yeah, I just did it while we were talking. I thought just to get out of the way. <laughs> Awesome. There's like loads oh, of stuff I, to go up, but yeah, it should be all right. I mean, how many views is it on now? One, two, zero? It, no, I just literally uploaded like said 15 minutes ago, so uh, yeah, no views yet. But um, we got 94 subscribers, yeah, six more views, bro, and we'll get that. That what you're talking about, exactly, man. We need that URL, guys. We need it, we need that URL, guys. It helps us massively. We'll get there, don't have to type in some all types of long thing on the to try and find us, all you do is type in the Brothers Geek Out podcast and we pop up. And it's always nice to have a nice, clean URL. Anyway, uh, we move on to, what else has happened this week, bro? I'm trying to watch it. I w- I've been watching Murderville, which has been jokes. You've got actors yes. that come on to try and solve a murder, but no script. And I'm on the last episode, I think. So I'm going to finish that off in a bit later on today. I binged, I binged that, that's what I was like. It was yeah, quite I funny, some of it, one. because I like the fact that you know, the natural reaction, because you can see the people around them start busting up as well. Like yeah. there was one guy dying <laughs> with Sharon Stone and you've got yeah, yeah. Terry, whatever, him like cutting people up and making me laugh, man. He was quite, he's a quite funny actor. He does he the Lego Batman voice. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's he's him. hilarious. That's him. He's hilarious. And then, I remember uh, him from uh, uh, Blades of Glory uh, and a couple yeah. of other comedy movies and whatnot. Good yeah. No, that, I, I've been through that. That was jokes. Uh, there's something else other than that it's been quite busy guys there's loads of things happening in the background it's going to be an exciting march that's all i'm saying and like yeah it's nuts it's nuts but one thing i was going to share as well i had to do something out of my comfort zone as well recently and it's not something that i'm really used to and a customer trusted me to get it done and he was really happy with what he got and it just made me feel a bit more creative freedom in the work that we do and it's not just that we do creative stuff all the time. It's always hard. There's different formats. And I did this painting for our cousin <coughs> who's a paying customer. That sounds bad. That sounds like I'm an escort or something. Uh, but he nah. paid for a painting. And, would, you, uh, would you be sound like an escort? Because, yeah, no, because oh, I said oh, he was a paying customer. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, he... Uh, asked me to do uh, a picture that he's been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time now and it's one of he won a belt or something didn't he recently i can't remember what it was who do i who's that nias yeah nias oh okay yeah no he's been yeah he's been uh he got promoted to a blue belt recently he's been doing loads of competitions what did he what did he ask you to paint he asked me to do uh, one of the images where he won the fight and uh as as a rocky montage you know that rocky painting from rocky three yeah 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 
<coughs> so he wanted something abstract and he goes, look, I oh, just give you creative freedom. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I put it off. At first I said, no, I can't do, I don't know. It's not my style of work that I do, but I've, I just forgot the freedom of art and what you can do with something abstract. Like now looking at, I was looking at that study in that Rocky painting. I was watching other people trying to replicate it, and I was like, oh, I don't want to replicate it. I just, this is a martial arts pose. You know, this guy's got him in a grip hold and how do I Im like incorporate that into the image? Awesome. Uh, yeah, so the yeah. past couple of days I had fun doing that and that really <coughs> helped my mental health a bit, calm me down, made me relax a little bit as well, which is something that we don't usually do. And, you know, I don't have to sit on a screen. I'm not on a laptop, I'm not watching something. I was just painting and it was really good. Amazing, amazing, yeah. Well, that's great because I saw the pictures. I didn't realize what it was. I think it was look at uh, it. Uh, look, you have to work with it. He can see it. We both know mm. what it is, but he yeah. was like his kids had to work it out. So yeah. if you look at the image, just keep looking at it. You you'll see what's. I mean, now I know is him doing jujitsu. I'll definitely be able to see it, and I'll be able to see what position is and what what submission hold he might have or whatnot. <clears throat> but that's awesome. I saw he he's well into, or well, he's a changed. <laughs> Change guy, bro. I mean, he's still like a very introverted individual, but he jujitsu. He he's found jujitsu and he's loving it, bro. And he's mm. training all the time. He's doing these competitions. He's lost weight. Um, amazing, bro. That's, I'm really happy for him that he found that. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, definitely good. Uh, sorry, bro. All right, cool, man. Let's 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 finish up with Boba Fett. I think Boba, Boba Fett. Fett was. Uh, we had the season finale last week, and you know. It's a Robert Rodriguez movie, you know. Uh, I love what he brings to it. I've got to say, like, this is just the negative side of it, was I've got no negative thoughts about it. There are some episodes where I feel like it was a bit weird, but it it came well with the story. But the toxic Star Wars fans, you sons of bitches. I shouldn't say that, sorry. Forgive me. But you guys, man, come on, man. But they don't like it. No, man. They did they, bare abuse, bro. Bare abuse. Bare pure abuse. And I know everybody's got their opinions, bro. But there comes to there's a point it comes to where you're like, come on, man. Well, I mean, I heard uh, Mark Bernard and, and Kevin Smith talking about it, and they had some views on what they didn't like, especially at the synopsis and all that sort of stuff. But Overall, man, I mean, there was a lot of fan service, as uh, Kevin Smith would put it. I mean, there was a lot of fan service, and I just appreciate that. Listen, again, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan in the world, but the fan service I'm getting, and to me, like I say, Mando is my favourite Star Wars content piece. He's my favourite. I'm as, as bad as it sounds, he's my favourite Star Wars character. Simple. Mm -hmm. Mando and Baby Yoda, they are. Uh, now, I do feel like they stole the show, and I do feel like, um, you know, a couple of episodes where Boba Fett wasn't even in it and it was the Mando show, which, which was funny uh, because you called it, it Boba. It peaked too early. Yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you mean? It peaked. Like, don't get me wrong, the last episode is great. It finishes off the story. It helps us continue to the next story. But it peaked, bro. You put fucking Luke in there, shit. You know, everybody went nuts, bro. Everybody went nuts, bro. You saw the Richter scale for Disney+. Plus. Episode six, pow, up there. Then, you know, the retention drops. Mm. You know, you're back to Boba. You know, even if you had Luke in there for like a second, that shit would have been stabilised. But... Yeah, yeah. I'm, but we almost thought, did. But... You know when you saw the X-Wing came in? Got bare moist, bro. I got moist for no reason, bro. I was like, what I know. the fuck? Luke's joining the party. And then little cutie jumps out. I know. Well, you know what, yeah? Um, with all the abuse and whatnot, I mean, bro... You got Luke fucking Skywalker training Baby Yoda in the Book of Boba show. How, how could you not love it? I know you want to express more Book of Boba, but this ain't, this doesn't mean it's done. He's, this is a universe that they've created. He's going to show up probably in Mando. There's going to be a season two of him. Like We're going to get a lot more Book of Boba, of Boba Fett. But, bro, come on, man. They hyped up. They, they put Luke Skywalker in it. Come on, man. I mean, that was amazing. But it's that great. last part, that... That last episode, I, I listen, man. I I enjoyed it. Um, again, this is my favorite Star Wars content piece. When mm -hmm. when Baby Yoda and what, Grogu, I should call him by his real name, Grogu and and Mando met and the hug, man was gonna bust a tail. <laughs> That's so cute, man. It's so cute. I love them so much, bro. Um, <laughs> the way you know, little Yoda, little Grogu, 
was using the force, the way he calmed yeah. down the big punch right there. And Rank, no, the, the rankle, sorry, the rankle, yeah. Yeah, but come on, man. Everything about it was awesome. You know, um, you know, Mando and Boba going like back to back and, and, and getting smashed and, and killing people and whatnot. And, you know, I mean, there was loads of things and I love the way he, Rocket comes out of his knee and he bends over and the rocket comes out. All that shit is amazing. Um, <laughs> He tried to use the dark saber, all these yeah. sort of things, man. Oh, come on, man. I, I thought it was fan ple- fan pleasing, almost like the Avengers type magnis- magnificent seven, seven type yeah. cowboy movie, everyone coming in to back it up and help and it was and lovely. It was of- really good to see that. And then you know, uh, he did really give it a Western feel, bro. You know, the standoff, Cad Bane getting involved. Like it's fun. It, you, listen, man, I enjoyed it fully, bro. I was very excited, like you know. You get those moments when the rancor came in and it was biting up everything, killing, you know, the, the same thing, bro. When he met Grogu again, I was, I was like, oh, man, you're going to make me cry, man. Why are you making me cry for, man? Because you know how much he missed, they missed each other. Yeah. They, Grogu, they like, Grogu, Grogu, Grogu made his choice. Grogu, yeah. I mean, we're going to see that. I reckon we're going to see that in, in, uh, in Mando, Mando three. season three. We're yeah. going to see the choice that he makes and then maybe the lesson that Luke teaches him uh, because yeah. he was wearing the thing. Now, I heard, I'm stealing all of this from... Uh, Matt, uh, Mark Bernard and then uh, Fat Man Beyond guys, but there, there's a few. There, there's a possible couple of theories, but the one theory is is that Luke was testing him, and and him choosing Mando and having that attachment is the right choice because Luke had attachments and mm. he became one of the best Jedi's. Right, he had his sister, yeah. he had Han Solo, all that stuff. and and um, so the whole Jedi way of not having attachments and whatnot is you know might not be the best way. And, um, you know, so if he chose to take Yoda's light- lightsaber, maybe that would have been a sign to be like, oh, maybe this guy's going down the wrong path. because He wants to be the most powerful Jedi ever, but mm. he's taking the path of love and go, go get his attachment, which is, which is Mando. And, maybe, and that's what, exactly what Luke went through. So that's one of the theories. And I like that theory. I like that. That's because, a good theory, bro. Yeah, I that's like really that theory. Good. I don't think that's going to come to uh, fruition. I think he's just going to get dark, bro. So I'm like, all right, I'll find another student. And he's got Ben <laughs> up after. You know what I mean? So just fuck off, innit? Damn, man. I want to <laughs> he see, probably I said see. that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fucked up. I want to see Ben. Because bad people are hating on Luke after that. It's like, Luke, you bastard. How could you do that to Grogu? I reckon they're going to redeem him after that somehow. Man. I mean, Grogu, remember, you got to remember as well. Luke was saying that he was teaching Grogu to remember. He wasn't teaching him the ways of the Force. He was teaching him to rem- remember. So maybe, you know, maybe Grogu doesn't need a teacher. Maybe Luke's already triggered off the remembrance. And every yeah. time Mando's in trouble, Grogu steps up to back him up. And maybe that's what he needs. He just needs that motivation to back up. Now he's got, he's, he's able to tap into his memories. Maybe he'll see Mando just get in trouble and he'll just use his Force and remember it. So... You know, maybe you don't need to teach you no more. And maybe you still be the powerful thing, but it would have been great if he had the oldest lightsaber because that would have been freaking epic. No, nope, that'd be moist. That would be absolutely moist. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, listen, great, great show. You know, I watch it twice. Uh, each episode I watch twice, I end up watching it on my phone because if I'm working, or I watch it on the big screen. Uh, but I fully enjoyed it. I like what Robert Rodriguez brought to it. He uh, he still gave it that stylistic uh, Western feel. Uh, but these are great stories, man. They're, they're coming together. I'm lucky to be able to see all of this stuff now. You know what I mean, uh, who would have ever thought? Who would ever had thought this would be like the way it is now? We're getting this content, man. Just shut the fuck up, people. No, I'm sorry. I, everybody's got their own opinion and it's true you know internet is giving you the voice you chat about it it but just uh, it's just sad bro because like there's you know the english there's one english actor in there who played one of the the young gangsters mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The cyborg thing, cyborg yeah. guy, and he did a little spin yeah, yeah. yeah you know when he was holding that thing he did a little spin mm-hmm. and shot the thing i know yeah. personally that's a robert robert rodriguez thing so that's yeah, just his yeah. style of directing. Like he's in a Western yeah. film, you know, he's yeah. having fun with it. Let him enjoy it. Bro, they yeah. destroyed the actor. <laughs> Dest- <laughs> destroyed. I mean, are you serious? Why <laughs> there been memes about him or something? They fucked him up, bro. They, they, on TikTok and online. And it just hurt because, like, 
somebody posted it up and I said, that's just a stylistic thing that Robert Rodriguez does. And I like the fact that somebody can bring some of their selves. Like, I know this is George Lucas's thing, but can I just give one thing that's mine? Because he's great at doing those type of movies. Look what he did with uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, he, mm. And he had a really good sense of humour with that as well, which he did yeah. bring to this as well. You know what I mean? Uh, I love that line. Right? I mean, what, what were they? Were they fucking psychos? And, and George Clooney punches that guy. He started to do fucking, fucking psychos blow up in sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Psychos. Um, yeah, that, I mean, look, when I saw that scene, yes, it does look a bit cringy, but yes, you saw Robert Rodriguez's style in it uh, because that was him and that's something that he would do. But yeah, I, I do see the cringy side of it. But you know what? Let, I mean, what can you do, bro? Look, end of the day, we don't like those CW shows and there's thousands of thousands of people that do love them. So, mm. you know, we're on a different side of the spectrum. We don't, we don't, those. we don't. My, my issue is that we don't. We don't I, go, I don't watch we don't it. go in on that. Yeah, because I, I don't watch it to come on here to start abusing it. I just like, yeah. I don't like it, so I'm not going to watch it, right? Yeah. Um, so if I don't like something, okay, you know, I might talk about it here so I don't enjoy it, but I would not carry on watching it. I have a choice. I have a choice to not watch it. And, exactly. and then rather than watch it and abuse it. I'm like, no, I don't like it, so I'm not going to watch it. It's the same thing about anything, man. If you don't like it, you have the choice not to watch it. There's so much other Star Wars content you can go watch. Go watch it. But if you mm. like it, I mean, yeah. So why torture yourself? Why waste time? Time is exactly, the most bro. valuable asset in the world. And you know and what? You don't... I praise that guy because he is a part of Star Wars now. Yeah, but like, he's you can't, in can't Star that. Wars, bro. You can't deny that he's in Star Wars, bro. Do you know how much of a bro? Big. That's like legacy stuff, there, bro. You know, like for me, my name being on Aquaman is legacy. Yeah. Nobody knows my face. Nobody knows who the hell Kibla Ahmed Art is. But for me personally, that's like legacy. That's, you know, later on, Alara can show that to her kids and the kids and the kids. Like, you know, that's legacy. What he's done to be a part of Star Wars. Listen, bro, I don't care if I have to uh, grab an alien's will or something to be on Star Wars. <laughs> yeah? You're gonna I'll get some blue one. milk out or something, bro. So, you <laughs> know what I mean? Menace, man. <laughs> please, man. Please. Oh, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm saying? You know? If you know the movie, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I'd be, I'd be all over that, bro. So pre- props to him. Uh, no props to the haters. Uh, but it is, you're right, the opinion part. And, you know, you don't have to watch it. But the fact that you make content about it, it's heartbreaking, bro. Because I felt for the dude after. Like, bro, who's getting destroyed. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you well, guys, man. Bastards, you bastards. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just... It's just anyway, he's in Star Wars, Wars, so, bro. He's in Star Wars. You can't say shit to him, man. You're in Star Wars, bro. Listen, and even for me, like I said, I found that scene cringy. I found those characters not interesting to me, but the fact is they were in it. They were part of it, and, you know, they were cool. I mean, I was more looking forward to just seeing uh, Mando and Boba and Gro- uh, Grogu and whatnot, but those characters were in You can't deny them. You can't deny them shit because they were in Star Wars. They were in... A Boba Fett. They were in the Star Wars uniform uh, universe, and yeah, fuck them. Fuck the haters, man. Exactly. I enjoyed that, bro, and you know, I love the way they've set up Mando 3. This is a universe. I mean, I know it's the Boba Fett show, and he wasn't in half the season, <laughs> but this is a universe they set up. He's going to show up in Mando. He's going to show up in whatever spin-offs they do, so it's a universe. There's, it's one big story. Pull it out, we're in for a treat, guys. We're in for a treat. There's so we much are in, and you know what? You know what? They show you, they give you Luke Skywalker training baby, uh, training Goku in Boba Fett. What the fuck are they going to give you in the season three of Mando? What, what, exactly. what, are you, what, what are we going to get? Obi-Wan's coming out in a couple of months, man. Him and Vader, uh, again, they're going to go back and bro, come, bro, bro, it's too much. It's too much, bro. Again, I, yeah, they're giving us it all, man. And you have a choice to watch it and enjoy it or don't enjoy it. But then if you don't enjoy it that much and you want to abuse it, then you better not, not watch it because time is the most valuable asset in the world. And if you're just going to watch it just to abuse people, then you're wasting your time and you're wasting your life. But anyway, I'm enjoying it, bro. I, bro I'm just glad that we don't have anything till Moonlight. So I, on my Wednesdays, I'm going to be basic for the next three, four weeks man, until Moonlight comes up. I love having these on Wednesday. You don't understand, bro. It breaks up the week. I look forward to finishing work and then putting on the TV, 
get some food ready. It's like a Friday night for me because I'm ready to watch, you know, be it a Mando or, <coughs> or a Marvel show. So big guy and I gotta wait for a couple of weeks. But anyway, man, um, yeah, man, that was it, bro. Uh, it's hitting midnight here, so I need to get to uh, it's a school night, so I need to get to bed too, man. Was there anything else? Anything else? Um, oh, bro, that was, that was any it. Any other news? That, that was it. Oh, for, any other giveaways or whatnot? I know you gave away the, the what was it? Yeah, the one Wonder Woman's two? already got out there. I've currently got Tennant. Where is the poem? Tennant, listen, Robert Patterson. Uh, What's his name, man? I, I, I end up calling him Denzel Washington, but his son's in the movie. I'm giving away the just, Blu-ray. As fucked up as this sounds, I was just about to say Leonard, Leonard Leroy, but that was um, Dave Chappelle's character from <laughs> his <laughs> show. <laughs> that is fucked up. That's wrong. That's uh, wrong. Uh, listen, I got that coming out, so go to Twitter, go join in. But not many people joined in when I put it up last week, so I maybe delete it. And then repost it again next week. But you know what? I'm thinking of doing a bigger giveaway. I think that's the main thing. I think I'm going to do a bigger giveaway and go from there. But uh, listen, guys, again, massive thank you for joining into the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, yeah, come on, press it, man, press it. We only need six more for 100. And then we're going to go for the 1,000 mark, the following push. Uh, but massive thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel, watches the channel loves the content, you know, let us know. We're on all other streaming platforms. You can follow us on social media, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you go show some love on those pages. And uh, yeah, that's about it. G man, go on, man, go get some rest, bro. It's good to see you, man. Cool, awesome, man. Good to catch up. We will do this again next week. And uh, shit, man, like, yeah, just stay good, stay good. Let's do this. Peace. Right. One love, peace.